is, as far as we know, unless something crazy goes on next week, will be the most valuable player in the OVC. Certainly played like it this evening, but uh, 23 points uh, in this win. You led the team with eight rebounds, but it was very difficult. Simo came out with a really difficult game plan, and it took everything you had to win this one, KJ. Tell me about uh, your team's performance. Um, yeah, you know, we came out first half a little sluggish. Um, well, they got to their spots very well, getting to the paint, getting uh, wide open layups, getting uh, getting three pointers. Uh, um, we uh, pl tried to play our played our we played our principles well, but we didn't play multiple potentials to uh, to get to get the stops on the uh, defensive end. But we came out um, those last couple minutes and we we uh, we rattled and we rattled and clawed and just came out and got the win. I know we used to getting what we get from you. Same with Tevin Brown. And Juice, he, he didn't really have his best game till the end. Man, he saved it, got those two big threes. and then. But Trey Hannibal, he was the X factor today, came up with a career-high 20 points. He was is certainly glad to have him on your side today, weren't you? Oh, yeah, Trey, the credit to Trey. Um, he tries best to, to help his team coming off the bench, um, especially as a guard. Um, he be having to uh, guard most of the four men when they go four guards on uh, opposing team. So the credit to Trey, he just come in, just just uh, f feed off the energy that we give him, and he he ch he gives he gives us his best uh, on the offensive and defensive end. You go nose to nose with Manny Patterson today, very physical, low po low post player, and in the first half he's able to get 12 first half points. Second half, you outscore him 14 to zero. Finish with 23 points and hold him scoreless the second half. Talk about that matchup. Um, first half, like I said before, we we came out sluggish. Um, uh, and he got he uh, on the on the defensive end. We kind of we kind of uh, slacked off a little bit. He got to the, he got his, uh, he got to his spots in the uh, paint and he got those easy buckets. And, um, and we just we just uh, came out second half ready to go. Um, we we uh, got in our gaps, got in the blue line, and we just just stopped him from getting to the paint very easily. Thursday night, we we got to celebrate a great win and uh, watch the emotions that you and Tevin had of 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 spending four years here and, and winning a championship, and then you got to come right back here carrying a number 19 ranking to try to make history and go 18 and 0. What what does that mean to you to be able to go through both of those events in two days? Um, it's very special. Um, with that with that being said, um. Uh, it it, ain't, it haven't happened in, in a long time. Uh, we want we the first team to ever go 18 and 0 in, in conference. And um, with this being our last year in OVC, uh, we just we just tried to make it special. Um, just just come out, and just play play very hard for the fans. The credit to them. They they travel whatever we travel. So we wanted to to uh, give that back to them for all the support that they gave us. And now you have something on assistant coach Marcus Brown. He has banners up in the Raptors too, but he never went 18 or no. You can tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> never did that, did you, Marcus? KJ, congratulations. Let's get on the bus and get some food. All, all right. right, yes, sir. Thank all you. right, that is KJ Williams.